Well, hello, my kings and my queens. Welcome back to another day at the Queen's House. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one more of my videos. And to my crown kings and queens, you guys are so, so, so welcome. So my kings and queens, uh, I will be sharing with you today a collaboration. Beautiful things that I got from Timu, I will be sharing with you um how i put this fireplace together so guys i am somewhat pressed for time um i'm working some extra shifts so i really don't have the time on my hand to um, fully decorate on camera so um in the process of making this uh, beautiful garland right here on my mantle I did little bits and pieces of when I am putting the um, pieces together. I will go through though and I will share with you up close and personal the different picks and the different layers that I've added to um, the fireplace. So if you want to see how I accomplished this beautiful fireplace along with some beautiful items that Timu has gifted to me. Just keep on watching. Okay, my kings and queens, so I have just finished putting the finishing touch on my beautiful garland. I am absolutely in love with it. So I got the these balls that you see me hanging here, cascading from the bottom. I got those from Ross and um, they were actually two of them together and I just take them apart. Because I wanted to have these almost like a, a teardrop um, cascading from the bottom. And I absolutely love how it turned so out. So for here, for the corners, I knew I wanted to um, add these little um, cone Christmas trees. I got that because the fireplace is so glam and it's so loud already. I just wanted something... Um, just to pick up back on the all the the glam the glamour and the glitz that's going on here so i found these beautiful slim trees at burlington and also at home goods and i just put those there and when i was creating the garland i want the um, the design i wanted to make the corners more bigger and more lusher so this is two two garlands together um a plain green one and a, a, a frosted one i just entwined them together um so it is two garlands put together and then i got these beautiful sprays I got these from all these and I pulled them apart and I created here these stems I got from um, Etsy is it Etsy um, no it's not Etsy I think it is craft tech that I got these from and I just split them apart because what I didn't want for this garland was to have too much of my accent color in it because the Christmas tree is right next to it 
and they are going to have on some bigger ornaments in that bold turquoise color and so i wanted this to be more on the mutual side but still being cohesive to the space that it's in and so i added these picks i pulled them apart and i just added touches of um, the, the tiffany blue there and i got these beautiful picks I got them from Ross and I just separated them and I just stuck them there. The icicle picks I got from Hobby Lobby and I just distributed it right here on this bigger portion. My bows, I actually thrifted this one and I got this beautiful, beautiful one from Ross and I just made a simple bow and I cascaded it down here there and then these beautiful picks i got from ross as well as the these pearls they are a garland this is a garland that i got from michael's and i just pulled them apart and just make make twigs out of them and just added them all over the um the garland so i wanted it to cascade down all the way to the floor so i have it going all the way down to the floor you guys will see it later absolutely gorgeous gorgeous, gorgeous. so let me take you in closer for you to get a better view of this beautiful fireplace <laughs> Street. 